Good morning. It is Tuesday, June 23rd. Yes. And it's 9.15 in the morning. I am just making my breakfast and Bella is like ready to eat. I figured I would do kind of like a full day of eating but actually tracking my food. I have tracked my food for as long as I can remember. It's been like, I don't know, I guess I'm 20 now. So then I'm turning 21. But I don't know, probably since I was a freshman in high school, I've been tracking my food. So I was probably like 14 when I started. So I kind of like, I listen to my body, especially being pregnant. That's something that's very like important to me. As long as I'm getting enough protein, I'm fine. I don't feel the need to track. Um, especially because I have such a history of tracking food that I, that was weird. I don't like, I know how much protein I'm getting, like approximately, um, just by like eyeballing stuff and knowing what I'm eating and putting it into my body. So I don't track being pregnant. And then during prep and, um, some of my off season, I'm on like a pretty structured meal plan. This is something I learned a long time ago. So see how it says one bagel is 95 grams. I could just scan this barcode and log it as 280 grams. But in reality, I have no idea what this bagel weighs. So I'm going to get my scale out. Again, this is like more so if you're in prep or you're just finishing your off season, like you're getting into off season. So that's a difference of not even 10 grams, 7 grams. So... I don't, I can't do that math right now. 95 minus seven, but that is my bagel. So I'm going to track it as that. So this is breakfast. Yes, I'm using a paper plate. The garbage disposal broke last night and I just like, I can't use a sink and it's kind of dirty. I'm so sorry. That's my knife. But back to this, this just doesn't fit on the, the bagel. So I cut it off and I eat it on the side, but I just buttered my bagel, toasted it. This is a little more done than I would like. Like, but whatever. So in my fitness pal, I have my adjusted bagel, my egg whites. I put ham on there, some cheese, butter, and then I had some fruit while I was making my breakfast. So right now we're at 653 calories, which I'm okay with that. I have a big breakfast. Um, 41 protein, 87 carbs, and 15 grams of fat. Okay, I am back. I'm eating a snack. It's like, I don't know, 45 minutes later. And I'm going to eat the rest of this fun funfetti fun fatty cupcake that I made yesterday for a dog. We can get it out of the wrapper. I like, took a bite of it last night, didn't want it, so now I'm going to eat the rest of it today. It is a little bit later and I'm back home now. I stopped at the grocery store and just picked up a few random things. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's 1230 now. I'm a little hungry. I just ate a yogurt, but I kind of want something else to snack on. I don't really eat any meals besides breakfast. I just kind of like snack throughout the day after breakfast I just I don't want anything like food just kind of sounds gross so I just eat whatever I want um, I make sure to just like get protein and that's my biggest thing um, so I'm gonna look in my cabinets and see what I have okay I have some fish in a bag and some chicken thigh in here and I'm just gonna heat that um up and eat it why don't we say that it's too late for us now why do we stay when i blame you for the things that weigh me down
something you say good morning it is the next day so today is wednesday june 24th and it is seven o'clock in the morning and i am dressed and ready for this rainy day if you can like see out back i never finished last night um like recording but i actually like i did it i filmed the full day <laughs> like i said i would and like i never ever ever do so i figured i would go over my full day of eating now and then i'm sorry this light's weird it's like gray out and it's gonna storm today i think so the last thing i showed you guys was my dinner which was some chicken nuggets um, my battery is gonna die oh snap okay so i need to do this fast That girl you texting when I look away Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me In the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her She who wants to study your body Who gets the better version of you So, all in all, I cannot go under that light. So, all in all, I am actually pretty happy with um, my day yesterday. I ate whatever I wanted, and I still got 130 grams of protein, 280 carbs, and 32 fat, which is going to bring me around 2,000 calories, like almost exactly. So, I think that is perfect, and I... I did do a 20 minute spin workout yesterday at night um, just when Doug got home from work and we just kind of like hung out in the garage and um, he lifted while I did spin. So that's not every day though, but that was just like an extra like 100 calories that I would have burned like active. And um, my Apple watch yesterday, the final product of the day was 639 active calories for a total of 2174 calories I guess burned and then a hundred exercise minutes 12 standing hours and 8,000 steps so I don't think that's a bad day at all I've had my Apple watch for almost two and a half years and I have always tracked things the same exact way with my watch so I, I think that's a great like way to um, you know, kind of like track your progress, see your calories burned and everything. As long as you're using the same method of tracking every single time that you do something, it's the same thing with food. Um, tracking like raw versus cooked meats, it's all about what you do consistently and that is going to give you like better data instead of like, I don't know, you know what, you get what I mean. Then I'm not using a Fitbit one day and then my Apple Watch the next day. I track all my workouts the same way, so it's not like I'm, you get what I'm saying. It's early, I can't really have words, and my battery, like, blinking at me is, like, stressing me out. So, hello, happy Thursday. I, I'm going to do a little, like, impromptu video I filmed every single day this week, which is crazy for me, but I figured I would just do, like, a haul. Um, I accidentally went shopping today it was not my intention i had to do some returns and then i was just like oh sale let me go buy everything and i got like sucked into the oblivion of shopping and also i made this shirt and i'm super happy with how it like turned out i'm not big into tie-dye so i feel like this is a very modest tie-dye where it's just kind of like a little bit on the front and the back and like nothing too crazy so that's that and let's get into the haul okay I have my receipt right here I spent $99.32 I got um, $8.28 off or with I got napkins I got two of these it's just 230 paper napkins and I got two of them because I need napkins so should put them over there and they were the next thing that I got is this Apple watch um, protector it was on sale for five dollars from nine dollars and this is for Doug because um, 
I don't know. He, he's not clumsy. I'm clumsy, but like his job is just the nature of his job that if he like sometimes drops it or wax it that I just don't want the screen to break. It's already a little bit chipped. So I got him a new screen protector. And then I got some press on nails. These are the ones that I've been loving. Um, I noticed that the glue ons are a lot like like lower quality than the actual stick ons and I never thought that would happen. Um, I would think like the opposite, but no, these are press ons as well. And I've been, I've had these on for like two weeks and maybe one or two have come up because I've been doing like crafts and just, they got peeled up. Yeah, they're $9 at Target, like this, if you can see. This packaging is $9 at Target and $11 at CVS. And then, um, so I got these two. I got the square and I got this almond shape that I, I didn't like this at first. I felt like dragon tails, but now I'm really into the almond shape. So I got one of them and a square just to have. And then I got these. These were only $6 and I just like to have different, if I just want to switch it up to another color or something like that. And the next thing I got is just this pack of wipes. These are heavy duty cleaning wipes. I just got them for my mom. I have been on the hunt for some silicone reusable straws. I have these right now and they're silicone on top and metal on the bottom. So like you can put them in hot drinks and it's not gonna like melt. But um, these don't always fit cups that I have. So I was just on the lookout for like something else. And Target had this pack of silicone straws. And I have one in here. And it came with this like little carrying case. This is the brand too. So it came with like this really pretty blush pink, teal, dark blue, and this kind of like darker pink. And it was like... I saw the colors and I was like, oh my God, I need them. And also this carrying case is awesome. You just fold the straws up and like literally throw it in your bag and you have it. Um, I just hate using plastic straws. If I go to Starbucks or something, I'd rather use my reusable one, but I always forget it. So having one in my bag was gonna be perfect. And then next I went to Old Navy. I had some returns to do from before, so um, I ended up having a negative balance, which was awesome. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Um, so I got $13 back. Um, so I got all of this basically, like I already spent the money when Old Navy first opened. So I will go through what I got. First is this like cardigan thing. It's like a long, Again. I never tried this on in the store. I couldn't be bothered. So I like this when I'm like just running around or you know it can be like a little bit like dressier if you want. You can dress it up or down. But I like that it has a hood. It has pockets, long sleeve. I like to wear these with like denim shorts and like a tank top or with um, like a dress. Is the lighting weird? Yeah. Um, just stuff like that. And I saw them at Old Navy. I didn't see them before when I went, but they had them this time, which was awesome. And this is originally $36.99, and I guess it was on sale before, and it got marked down again to a whole $8.49. So, I mean, I don't even know what percentage that is, but how do you beat that? And it's, like, soft. Um... This is from their activewear section as well, which I thought that was cool. Like you can breathe in it. Then I got this sweatshirt. I got it in an extra large because I wanted it to be oversized. Um, and it's fleece, not fleece, but it's like really soft on the inside, but it's still like lightweight that you can wear this in the summer with like shorts or like, like you know what I mean, like denim. But is Where did my receipt go? 
I guess it doesn't say how much it originally was, but this was on sale for $16.99. Oh, originally $34.99. You can like see behind the tag, but it was $17. So and then I found these leggings in the same sale rack that I found the sweatshirt and the cardigan. And these are like, they have seams, so I'm not going to say they're seamless, but if you can tell, there is like the butt seam in this, but this waistband is seamless. Only had a size medium, so hopefully they fit. Maybe they're bump friendly. I'm not too sure, but they were originally, okay, this is what they're called if you want to try to find them. Maybe the price tag. And this is the same cardigan in black in an extra small the gray was in a small that's for me and this one is for my mom and it's the same thing it was eight dollars and 94 cents this was hanging up um by the register i'm sure every store is different but it's like this oversized t-shirt thing um it has a pocket and it's not like a normal like i guess like you know, Old Navy has like the cheaper tank tops and like tight t-shirts. It's not one of those. This is like a different material, but it's still a t-shirt. So it was $15 originally. Um, I got an extra large, so it's oversized and fits my bump. And it's it's boxy, as you can tell. Oh, or no, $9 came off of it. So that is going to bring this to $5 for this t-shirt with a pocket. I think that's really cute. I'll probably put something on it, like a, um, a vinyl decal. Possibilities are endless, especially for $5. Then finally, I got that same sweatshirt, the camo one, in this cream color. It's not, I think it's showing, no, it's not showing up white. It is like a true cream ivory color, which I think is so pretty. And it's not, it's not the same on the inside as the, um, Camo, which I'm kind of mad. I feel like I should have got myself one of these too. Um, the cream is more of a terry material where this is more fleece. Um, but I feel like after a few washes, this will become not as soft, which I'm fine with that. But I do love a good terry sweatshirt in the summer. I don't know. Something about it reminds me of like the Billabong or the Furley sweatshirts that I used to wear when I was in like middle school and high school. Like so I spent $76 on all of that stuff. And then my returns made it a negative. So there you go. I don't think I did bad. $76 for, let's recap. Two sweatshirts. Um, two cardigans. A pair of leggings. And then two t-shirt tank tops. I think that's like a steal. So that's it for Old Navy. Now for Hobby Lobby, I had another return situation and I just got sucked into the sale of Hobby Lobby. Right now, ev literally everything in that store is on sale except for like vinyl wasn't on sale this week. That was last week. Same thing with baking and something else. But everything else was on sale. Um, and then the actual like sale section where things were like completely discounted with the red stickers was insane. I got this um, this table runner and it's just lace. So it's not gonna be like protective or anything, but it was $15 and it was 50% off because it's from the spring shop. And that was the brand that was 50% off this week. So it's a pretty big, it's 55 by 12 inches, so that's like big. That's, I'm happy for $7, cool. And then I picked up some stuff to shirts to DIY, so I got this onesie from Baby Boy. Um, I only got it because it was reduced to a dollar and 24 cents, and I only have white ones now for him at um, our house, so I just got this one in three to six months, and it was originally $5. And 
Then I grabbed this long sleeve white tee. And the t-shirts, like the adult and the kids t-shirts are always 30% off at Hobby Lobby. They just, they always are. Um, and this was $9 with 30% off. So I think that comes to $6.30, which that's fine for a long sleeve t-shirt. I just didn't feel like ordering them online. I found this picture frame in the actual sale section. I think, I'm not sure if picture frames were on sale this week. I know they were last week. I think it was 40% off. But um, this is an 8x10 like cream ivory color picture frame. It was originally $17.99 and I got it for $4.49, which is awesome. And it matches um, our house was just looking in the clearance section and I picked up these acrylic paints. Um, they were all like 60 or 30 cents a piece. And I just went through these colors last week when I made the cornhole boards. So I just picked up some red, blue, and yellow. Um, I had another bag. Then next I picked up this cake stand. You can see it. It is just like this tropical leaf print and it's disposable. It was $3.99. I just got some wooden stirrers. Um, they were $2.99 for $75 and I use these for epoxy. Jeez. And then, okay, this is all from this sale, like the actual like sale sale section. So first I got these three, my hair's a little crazy. I got three iron on pockets and they're just glitter. They're really cute. Like just to put something like on a t-shirt right here, that would go perfectly. Um, they were 74 cents each from $3. So how do you beat that? Picked these up for 99 cents and $1.49. This is a pirate happy birthday banner and pirate paper fans. I think Doug looks like a pirate, so I'm, I'm ready for his um, 33rd birthday. That's crazy. Not that like, that's, you know, you know what I mean? It's just another year. Like that's going to be our third birthday together I got these little like pirate stickers for 49 cents um I always put like note notes in his lunch and I put stickers on them and like then he'll put them on his lunchbox or on his hard hat if they're like cute so I got them and I picked up this lemon tree print towel and this was $5.99 and it's the spring shop and it was 50% off so that brings it to a whole three dollars for the super cute dish towel you can also make a pillow out of this um that's a story for another day but don't ever buy pillows <laughs> yeah just side note from like a crafter person don't buy pillows unless it's like $5 because you can definitely make it for cheaper and it takes like an ounce of effort and you don't have to spend $30 on a pillow. Then I got more, oh my gosh, <laughs> Mod Podge. So I'm probably gonna take my thumbnail now. And this is what I use for glitter tumblers and on Doug's cooler to finish that off. And finally, the last thing I saw in the sale section were these, oh, you like this lighting, these iron on lightning bolts for 49 cents. That's so on brand for Doug. Um, if you don't know what he does, that, um, he's my favorite service provider. That's like a running joke. Um, and then the last thing that I got, oh, I'm actually using it as a tripod. 
is this glass jar and it's actually pretty big and it's heavy it has like the closey lid thing and it was originally eight dollars which I thought this would be more expensive at first um I would pay a few extra dollars for this but it was on sale like clearance for a dollar ninety nine and um I bought it and I'm gonna put bed bugs treats in it um because she has little mason jars right now so this is our bar cart I don't know if you, if you I don't we just have one I don't really like showcase it that much but it doesn't really change so I keep her treats over here onto the bar cart. Just quick going over this. This plant is from Marshalls. I took the tag off, but I got it on like clearance at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I'm sorry. This is a candle. That's some room spray. And I have these two like cocktail napkins. This one says pop the bubbly. And then this one says yes way. Um, and then these are some Ray Dunn mugs from valentine's day i just like the pop of red because we have this sign over here that's from valentine's day too but i just loved it and that's my squirrel so it matches and then down here i just have these two mugs that are black and i like that because they kind of they match the wine down here the dog is eating and then down here we just have some wine, um, a little like sparkling wine bottle, and some bourbon, and then these like cocktail glasses. These are just really cute. So I have these three down here, and then these wine glasses. All the glasses are from Marshalls, or no, I'm sorry, TJ Maxx as well. Okay, of course, as I'm putting stuff away, oh, my hair I look like a bald, like George Washington. I'm putting stuff away and I forgot to show you guys my favorite thing that I got today. Um, I'm so corny. This is from Hobby Lobby and it is this little sonogram picture holder and it says love at first sight and um, it's just perfect for the sonogram. That's what it's for this was $7.99. I paid full price for it. I feel like that's not expensive and it's just like oh. but at Hobby Lobby I spent a total of $76 on top of my returns. Um, I think my returns were only like $15 or something. I don't know where my receipt is for Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know. I'll find it. I do look bald. But um when I was at Old Navy, I was in line and I felt him kicking and he just, me and Doug just felt him kick for like the first time, I think two nights ago. And it's still like such a weird feeling when he does it because it's not that often and it's just like, I'm going to cry. It's just like the sweetest thing ever and like, it's still so new that he's kicking and it just like, it's like the littlest like feeling ever but it's just like, I don't know. It makes me like think, like, it kind of reminds me that like everything's okay and that like, not that I ever forget that I'm pregnant, but it's just like, I don't know. I know he's in there and he's active and just kind of like saying hi. So on that sappy emotional note, I'm going to go put everything away um, before Doug gets home and sees what I bought because by the time this video goes up, it'll be too late to tell me to return anything. Well, that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and it would mean so much if you like this video and subscribe to my channel.